What's up mga chief? This is Hot E and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video will be special for me compared to my previous videos. Before anything, shoutouts muna kay Emmanuel Solmerano and Don Levy. Shoutouts sa inyo mga chief. Also, I'd like to ask everyone to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to my channel. So special to video na to kasi this will be the first episode of my series that I would like to call Tekasi. Tekken Kasaysayan Sibiga at Kultura. So here I'll be discussing anything and everything about the Tekken community here in the Philippines. History, personalities, culture. So bakit po naisip ang simulan to? Una una sa lahat, ang dami kong oras. pa, matagal ko na siyang iniisip gawin pero hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-execute. Now that I have my YouTube channel, may avid nyo na ako. Siyempre, since nagiging mainstream na Siyempre, since nagiging mainstream na ang Tekken dito sa Pilipinas, meron na mga major tournaments, lumalabas na siya sa TV, kasali na siya sa SEA Games, so, mas maganda na matutunan special. So, naisip ko na maganda na matutunan na video ko naman. Also, since nagiging mainstream na ang Tekken dito sa Pilipinas, meron ng major tournaments, lumalabas na siya sa TV, <coughs> the Nationals. Tsaka kasama na siya sa SEA Games. Weird flex! Hindi, <laughs> pero totoo lang sinabi ko. Since nagiging mainstream na ang Tekken dito sa Pilipinas, mas maganda kung mas maintindihan ng mga tao yung community. At yan ang goal ng series na to. So, ano pang inihintay natin? Simulan na natin to. So, syempre, this is episode 1. Simulan natin sa simula. Okay, so disclaimer, I am not disregarding the communities outside Metro Manila. But for this episode, Ang focus natin is yung pagsisimula ng community dito sa Metro Manila. I know may mga communities na before pa sa Cebu, sa Iloilo, sa Davao, sa Cagayan de Oro. Batangas, Cavite, Laguna, Pampanga, Pangasinan, Baguio. Madami, madami na. Pero kagaya nga na sinabi ko, most of the players na active is nandito sa Manila. So today's episode is about the teams and how they help build the Tekken community here in the Philippines. The information of teams started back in 2004 when Tekken 5 was released. Pero mamaya na natin i-discuss yan. Kasi long before that, meron ng mga teams na nag So these teams were formed as early as 1999 to 2000. And these three teams are what I would like to call the three founding pillars of the Philippine Tekken community. Disclaimer ulit, baka may mga mag-claim na, uy, meron na kaming team during those times. Again, I am talking about the formation of the Tekken community here in, in Metro Manila. By my own definition, kaya nabuo yung mga teams before is because of what we call the team battle. So if you do not participate na team battle. So what's the purpose of the team? Yun lang kasi yung purpose ng team before. Also, the members of these three teams. So dumadayo sila sa iba't ibang mall to find players, to practice, and to improve. So these three teams that I've been talking about are none other than Team Recto, Team North, and Team Commonwealth. So these three teams 
live together in harmony, then everything changed from the Fire Nation attack. That's a joke. Lang. Ano ba kayo? Siyempre virub lang yun. Walang harmony. So introducing these teams very briefly. So yung Team Recto, also known as T-Rex, gets Team Recto, T-Rex, ah, 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 arcane spot nila is uh, Ever Recto, sa si U-Belt. So mga notable players, Lian Tancinco, aka Jail, si Lickster, yung brother niya, si Leo, Loleng, si Atan Fernandez, and of course, si Kenny Ostria, aka Mr. Puerza. Sa Team North naman, ang arcade spot nila is sa SM North. Notable players, off the top of my head, si Hans, si Jay Buenaventura, aka Jay Batuta, si Victor, Anthony, si Bonbon, at si Raymar. Cheng! Hindi ko alam yung mga talino na yung players, pasensya na kayo ba? Wala pang Facebook nun eh. Team Commonwealth naman, ang play spot nila is sa Ever Gotesco Commonwealth. So, their team is also known as EGC. So, notable players are the Villa Dolid brothers, Owen and Louis, the Morales brothers, Claude and Franz, si Lexter, si Reynald, and of course, Martin Veraya, aka Mouse. So, anong significance ng mga teams na to sa growth ng community? Because of their competitive nature, nagkaroon ng mga team battles sa kanila nagsimula. And because they're uh, competitive, nagkaroon ng mga tournaments. And yung mga tournaments noon, because konti pa lang may console back then, ang tournaments, nangyayari lang yan sa arcades. So, kailangan yung arcade mismo yung magpa-tournament. And, ang promotion ng tournament before, poster lang. Minsan nga, wala pa eh. Tapos, by word of mouth lang ko makalat. Pero maraming pupunta because of these teams. Tawag-tawag, text-text. And partida, wala pang social media that day. Well, meron na yung Friendster. Pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-effective. And during those days, mahipit din ang rivalries between teams. Wala masyadong engranding premyo, bragging rights lang. Tsaka tokens. Pag medyo sinuerte ka, may t-shirt. Pag big time talaga, may trophy. And then eventually, come 2004, Tekken 5 came out. And doon na nagsimula yung card system. And because of the card system, pwede mo ilagay yung IGN or in-game name. So, nandun yung customized name mo, plus yung pangalan ng team mo. Kaya mas nagkaroon ng emphasis sa pagkakaroon ng team. And because of this, maraming players ang ginustong magkaroon ng team. So, yung iba, bumuo sila ng sarili ng team. And some teams are formed, depende kung saan ka naglalaro. Mga players ng Ortigas noon, they named their team Tigas. Team Ortigas. Team Bacoor named their team Tibac. And marami ding naglabasan ng mga malalakas na teams. We have PMS from the North, Elite from South, Met from the East. Marami pang team sa labas ng Metro Manila. Defiance from Baguio, CXR from Batangas. Basta madami pa. Nowadays, yung mga teams hindi na sila restricted ng play spot. Mas na tropa-tropa sa magkakaibigan kasi mas madali na yung communication eh because of technology. Yung ibang team pa nga sponsored. We have Secret Base, we have Bren, and of course we have Playbook Esports. So that sums up our first episode for Tekasi. Thank you very much for watching. And mga Chief, kung meron kayong alam na teams na nag exist dati na hindi ko nabanggit, please, Put them in the comments. So again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, maraming salamat mga chief.